It's game one up and on the board. You luckily have not missed anything. It will be DePaul University over in the white. Niagara will be in the red. A best of five for all of you who are just joining us. First team to three games. We will not be playing the full three game set. It doesn't look well, like DePaul want to play any of it. That's a free goal for Black Wrath. Unfortunately, uh, for both, really, not showing up in that respect. But as I say that, Ooh. Lavish just takes it off the ground. Black Wraith leaves it for him. Joining us for the spring. Nonetheless, it's a new season and sometimes some new beginnings. Of course, everybody's getting used to everybody else. Practice has already been had, as you can see from DePaul, who are looking good, especially with another shot coming through. Black Wraith with 100% goal participation, two goals and that assist prior, reached that one minute mark. And unfortunately for Niagara, they haven't had much offensive opportunities. It's been mostly defense and mostly trying to clear the ball. That's a nice shot coming through. Black Wraith looking for another one, oh, but Joseph will put geez. it in the top corner, and that's some speed on your shots. Yeah, final 20 seconds. It is just a formality at this point. DePaul University will almost certainly take game one, but it's, it's up to Niagara to try and get a momentum goal. They won't. It's... I got a question. What does Niagara do to come back in this? We need to see a little bit more speed out of Niagara and a little bit more concise rotations. That's that's one thing we didn't see, but we're going to head into game number two. DePaul already have the lead, and they're up 1-0. It's a good start from them, to say the least. So with a decent bit of boost, this is going to be dangerous. Flip reset, looking for it. No, flips under the ball mm. and doesn't reset properly. DePaul don't get the opening goal, at least not just yet, but they're continuing to put on this pressure. Oh, no. And you spoke a little too soon, because <laughs> Lavish right there finally gets that adjustment going. A nice pass from Black Wraith too, oh my goodness, all the way from the top of the arena. Once again, DePaul, one nothing. that's no new story, no new news here. No, and Lavish is up again, oh no, looking for more. Does not get the oh. flip reset, but Joseph steals the goal. Lavish goes down and under. You could see the dribble was up, but watch this. Just decides, nope, I'm not going to go for an air dribble, and sends it straight down. Joseph Boom. steals the goal away. Nonetheless, DePaul up 2-0, and it's only taken them 46 seconds to do so. They did a little bit better on the def defensive side here on this possession, kind of getting in the way of DePaul's routes, trying to get a goal in, but at the same time, oh, man. Sorry, Niagara, I kind of jinxed y'all there. But, I mean, just this play here, Joseph to Lavish, the air game for DePaul is just insane right now. I think that's I think that's two goals in this game that have come from the air. The other way, pass the schnitzel up, that's gonna keep the ball forward. Burning plays, now the next one to address, but is denied and 50 back the other way. Joseph across, and look at Lavish in a perfect position. It's another pass attempt, but no goal and no shot either. There's the defense from Niagara that we've been looking for. Unfortunately, they're going to continue to be pushed on as Lavish gets the Man. dunk through, even with that flip reset, sticks with the ball and gets yet another goal for DePaul, who are up 4-0 at this point. Man, Lavish just carried that ball from the air. Just That's called ball control. Like, it does not get better than this. Oh, my goodness. They're just unstoppable right here. Black Wraith, I thought, was going to be like the top scorer after that first game, but he's been passing it and sharing the ball like crazy. Beyond belief, at least from what we were looking at earlier on. Niagara, unfortunately, not getting too much out of their winter training, at least not thus far. There is, of course, still time, and well, the season hasn't even started yet, but for the Vincentian Cup, at least, it's not looking great. You can see past the Schnitzel passes it forward, but that's to the other team, oh, and Joseph man. will get a goal out of that one. Look at this redirect, by the way. Pass the Schnitzel sends this across, and look at Joseph come across and just redirect that one through. A little bit of help with momentum from Lavish on the backside. Nonetheless, DePaul up 6-0, and I, I, again, don't think there's any way back for Niagara. It's, it's already been 10 goals the other way for DePaul, and they're threatening more. Joseph's looking for a centering pass here. Lavish is there, shot through, shot will go through. Look at the passing play. DePaul, even up six goals and now seven, relentless in their attack. And with their goal scoring ability, look at that clean play. That's all I can say. It's just, DePaul, man, just the communication they have with each other is outstanding. They have built a chemistry like none other 
for NBA fans, it's like a uh, Jordan, Pippen, and Rodman connection with these three here, <laughs> especially with that defense right there. I mean, it's it's just crazy how they're playing right now. They're playing like they want to play in a championship game right now. Niagara have had difficulties on the defensive end, but that's that's no discredit to DePaul, who have had amazing plays coming through. Passing opportunities have been massive for this squad. And now as we head into our possibly, I'm going to say possibly, final game of this series, it's time for Niagara to show up. There's a ball off the corner. That's to the middle. Pass play forward. Black Wraith not quick enough, but still there. That pinch actually hurts the DePaul side. So now is the time for Niagara to come back into it, looking for something. But Black Wraith just fakes him out and is going to look for more as well. There's the 50. That's a ball into the midf midfield. Joseph with the fake, looking oh. for more. No, he's denied. What a save on the back line. Still, still going to stay alive. Is they're actually going to get one? No, they don't. Whoa. Black Wraith is that there. Was close. What? Both lavish and back. Black Wraith especially. I don't know. Some the game, game works in mysterious ways. Black Wraith is still hungry for a goal and won't get it either. Wow, off that top corner. That one will go through though. As Joseph will put it in. Black Wraith credited with the assist. We all know it was a shot, but hey. A assist is an assist nonetheless. And that's another opener for DePaul. The bright side for Niagara is that they're only down by one and there's only 90 seconds left, so it's very easy to come back and force in overtime or just win it in regulation. But at that same point, there's also so little time to come back in this one. Final 15 seconds and pass the Schnitzel has to do something. Does absolutely nothing in the midfield. Joseph, a pass. Lavish actually 50s oh, his teammate, but it's down to the final five seconds. And at this point, I have to say... I think this one's over. E maybe? Yep, I, it's over right there. No one's about to get that ball here. So great win for DePaul. The first sweep of the day for them as they move on. Well, everyone moves on. What am I saying? So Niagara's not out of it yet.